Hi, my name is uh, Smriti Ashok, and it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Rucha. Rucha is an 11th grader at Cupertino High School, and I had a lot of fun working with her. This was my first time mentoring for magic as well, and I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot along the way of just being a mentor and guiding her through the process. Through out our um, time together, we cycled through a couple of project ideas before we landed on the one that we wanted to pursue. Originally, Richa wanted to pursue something with VR and um, make a VR technology to help those with visual impairments, but we realized that it might be hard to implement and test, so we moved on to other ideas. And at the end of, I think, our second or third meeting, I remarked that in college, I did a project on oil spill cleanup and oil spill remediation, and she really liked that. Um, I'm a simulation engineer at Siemens Energy, by the way. So we decided to pursue that, and we, I thought it was a really nice way of um, taking Rucha's experience with coding in Python and um, Java and combining it with kind of what I do in my day to day. Um, I think Rucha has grown a lot during the course of our project, she really challenged herself by learning uh, Swift and using the Swift UI and just um, implementing a really complex uh, piece of technology, pixel color recognition to uh, detect the area and volume of her oil spill. Uh, when we really bonded um, over really TikTok and memes really and um, I had a lot of fun, and without further ado, here is Rucha to present her project. Um, so, hola, uh, voy a hacer uh, una translación de lo que dijo. Schmidt Yashuk um, acerca de su introducción de su um, estudiante Rucha. Um, so, bueno, buenas tardes. <laughs> este, um, su, uh, su mente se llama Rucha, ella es de Cupertino. Um, es un estudiante de Cupertino. Uh, se llevaron muy bien las, um, las dos. Uh, uh, al principio tuvieron un poquito de, de um, problema de qué escoger de su proyecto, pero al final um, escogieron algo de que Schmidt y ella um, hace en su, en su trabajo. So ella lo que hace en su trabajo, ella trabaja por um, Siemens y es una ingeniera uh, si, uh, de simulación. Um, so, su proyecto es um, acerca de, de uh, derrames de aceite en el mar. En el mar. <ríe> sí. um, el, uh, so, su aplicación es una simulación de, de, de um, cómo detectar los, um, los uh, derrames so de aceite en el mar. Aquí está Rucha para hacer su presentación. Gracias. Um, also, I apologize for any background noise if you can hear it. Okay. Um, so a little bit about my mentor. Like she said, her name is Smriti. Um, she's a simulation engineer at Siemens Energy. Um, prior to that, she studied chemical engineering at Rice University, and she's originally from Houston, Texas. So some of her hobbies include cooking, watching TV and movies, such as The Great British Baking Show, um, doing yoga, and a fun fact about her is that she traveled to Peru in December of 2018. Voy a traducir lo que dijo Rucha. Um, dijo que su mentora se llama Smriti Ashra, que es una ingeniera que trabaja en Siemens Energy y estudia la ingeniería química en la Universidad de Rice en Houston, y es de Houston, Texas. Algunos de sus intereses son el cocinar, ver películas y series en tele. También, también le gusta la yoga y algo interesante acerca de ella es que viajó a Perú en el diciembre de 2018. Um, so before I get started, I just wanted to cover some terminology that I use throughout my presentation um, that sort of pertains to my project and the topic. Um, so for example, oil sheen is something that I discuss a lot. And oil sheen is a layer of oil that is located on the surface of the ocean. Um, and different oil spills have varying densities depending on color and composition. Um, and like Smriti mentioned before, this relates to my project because um, my project sort of centers around calculating the volume of an oil spill. 
Um, so the four main sheens that I used for my project uh, was first of all rainbow, which you can see has sort of a rainbow color, um, and then dark sheen, which is sort of darkish brown, um, and then metallic and silver sheen. Esto es un poco de su proyecto. Esto es una terminología sobre el proyecto que ella hizo. Oil sheen, que viene siendo una capa de aceite que se encuentra en la superficie del océano. Diferentes aceites que son desechados han creado esta, esta variedad de densidades. Y dependiendo en el color y la composición, como podemos ver, así se ven los diferentes desechos de aceite en el mar. Okay, so, going to my project, the name of my project is Petroleum Predictor, which is an estimator for oil spills. Um, and essentially, it's an iOS application that uses image recognition software on user uploaded images to estimate the volume of an oil spill based on sheen detection um, and sheen appearance. So I selected this project um, because as my mentor, Smriti, told me about her line of work um, and more of the field that she works in as a simulation engineer. Um, and I was really interested in that. Um, and I'm also currently taking AP Chemistry at school and it's one of my favorite classes. And I think that certain aspects of this project, including the research elements of it, really connect back to chemistry-based topics. Um, for example, Smriti and I often talked about the different kinds of oils and their chemical compositions and why different oil spills vary in color and density. Um, so essentially I chose this project because I wanted to combine my interest in chemistry and Smriti's experience in the field and use my current knowledge of technology to learn more. Esto es un poco acerca de su proyecto. Su proyecto se llama Petroleum Predictor, que viene siendo un estimador para los derrames de aceite en el océano. Ella creó una aplicación que reconoce cualquier imagen y estima el volumen del derrame del aceite a base de la, de de la detección de una imagen. Ella seleccionó este proyecto porque quería explorar más sobre su interés en química y también quería desarrollar su interés en el desarrollamiento de aplicaciones. Um, so some of the technologies that I learned include, um, first I learned image recognition and segmentation, and um, that's essentially using an algorithm to um, scan an image or a file and return certain data. Um, another technology that I learned was Xcode, um, which is an app development platform designed by Apple, and sort of going hand in hand with that, I learned the Swift coding language. Um, and I learned some important Swift APIs, including bitmap, CI image, and CG image. Um, and so my current progress with my application is that it can identify and calculate the volume of oil spills in the ocean based on the four sheens that I mentioned earlier, uh, which are rainbow, dark slash brown, metallic, and silver. Algunas de las tecnologías que ya aprendió fue image recognition, Xcode app, y Swift coding. Okay, so going to my experience, um, some of my highlights include meetings with Smriti um, because those are always super informative, they're always super fun, um, and overall they're really great. Another highlight was discovering more about coding because one of my goals going into this project was being able to learn about a different language or area of technology. Um, and prior to this, I didn't have any experience with Xcode, so I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to learn more about that. Um, and then the third highlight was testing my project um, because obviously testing is a very important part of the coding process. Um, and I really enjoyed being able to test my code, find out areas where I can improve my code um, and just sort of work on debugging techniques. And so some lessons that I learned, one was to not be afraid of trying new things because as I mentioned, um, at the beginning of this project, I wasn't too sure if I would have enough time to learn Xcode because not only would I be learning the language, but I also have to implement it into an app. Um, but I took that risk and I'm really glad that I did because it ended up working out. Um, and another lesson that I learned was to always ask questions. Um, I was always really comfortable asking Smriti questions and she was always able to provide really great resources, um, especially at the beginning of my project when I wasn't really sure which direction I wanted to take with it. Um, I was able to ask her for help and she was able to give really great advice, which allowed me to get a more clear understanding um, in regards to which direction I wanted to take with my project. And so some challenges that I had, one was, like I said, learning to code from scratch with Swift, um, because at the beginning it was quite difficult to sort of gauge, you know, how um, variable declarations worked or coding structures in general worked with Swift. 
Um, and another challenge that I had was increasing the efficiency of my code, because when I first started testing my application, um, I believe each run took around 40 to 50 minutes, which is a very long time. Um, but I learned the importance of pre-allocating variables before parsing through um, the algorithm, and that seemed to cut down the time a lot. Algunas áreas que disfrutó más fue el conectar con su mentora durante juntas, aprender más sobre la codificación en la computadora y probar su proyecto. Algunas, algunos aprendizajes que aprendió fue el no, no tener miedo a preguntar cosas y tratar nuevas cosas. Y algunos desafíos que tuvo fue aprender un lenguaje diferente y aprender a identificar los lugares en donde su codificación necesitaba más trabajo. Um, so this is my first demo for dark slash brown oil spills. Um, so as you can see, the user opens the app, um, they enter the height and the width of the image in meters, um, and then they upload a photo of the oil spill from their image library. And then I also incorporated the three tap feature from iOS. Um, and then the user selects the dark brown selector and calculates. And essentially what my application does is it um, calculates an average value for the water in the image based on those three taps. Um, and then it parses through the entire image um, by checking each pixel to determine whether it's part of the oil spill or if it's part of the water. Um, so after calculating this total, it outputs the value of the oil spill total um, in cubic meters, which in this case you can see is around 2,600 cubic meters. And so this is my second demo for a rainbow oil spill. Um, so same thing, the users already entered the height and width in meters. The users uploaded an image of the oil spill. Um, they select the rainbow for the rainbow oil spill option. Um, and then again, the application parses through the entire image, checking each pixel to determine whether it's part of the oil spill or if it's part of the water. And then it outputs a volume in cubic meters, which in this case was around 1600. Okay, so this is the data that I gathered from those tests. Um, essentially how I calculated this was I researched the true or the expected values for these oil spills um, calculated by professionals. Um, and I compared it to the values that my application outputted. So as you can see, um, the dark slash brown test had the highest accuracy. Um, and between all four of these tests, the average accuracy was around 86.4%. Esto es un poco de la información que obtuvo de la aplicación y de sus pruebas. Okay, so, um, going back to that data, I showed some potential sources of error um, could have included errors in the algorithm. Um, and this is because essentially my algorithm um, allowed for each pixel in the image to be checked to determine whether it's part of the oil spill or part of the water. Um, so minor adjustments in that would cause um, or would affect the distribution of pixels when parsing, um, which would cause quite a large error for the total volume of the spill after calculating. Um, another potential source of error could be the angle at which the image was taken or the resolution of the image. Um, so ideally for my application, the intention was that the user would upload an image from an aerial view or like a bird's eye view. Um, but of course, this wasn't always possible as I was using um, online images for my testing. Um, and like I said, resolution would also affect because a lower quality image would of course affect the quality of the pixels that were being scanned, which would then again affect the distribution of the pixels when parsing. So some of my future work with this application, um, I hope uh, to expand my application so that it can identify and calculate the volume of an oil spill with all four sheens combined or different variations of it. Um, and this is because as of right now, the application can only individually calculate. Um, for example, it can only calculate the volume of an oil spill that has just metallic or just rainbow. Um, but in the future, I hope to expand it so that it can calculate the volume of an oil spill that has, for example, both dark slash brown and metallic or rainbow metallic and silver, so on and so forth. Um, another goal that I have for my application is expanding on the UI of the application to provide more resources for the user. Um, so this could include sort of more background information about oil spills, warning signs to look for um, with oil spills, and then possibly just numbers or hotlines to call um, in case of emergencies. 
Es posible que al usar la aplicación haya, haya errores en la codificación y al no capturar la imagen correctamente también cause un error en la codificación. Su trabajo futuro le gustaría agregar y expandir su interacción con el usuario y también le gustaría agregar el identificar y calcular el volumen de los derrames de aceite en diferentes variaciones. So thank you so much for listening and thank you for your time.